Hi everyone, happy Saturday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Hit Parade autographed, officially licensed baseball jerseys. Really nice stuff. We did five five jerseys yesterday and they were all really, they're all of the official jerseys. So they look really cool. And then, and obviously the autographs of some top players right here among, I mean, that's just a small example of what could be in here, ladies and gentlemen. So a very big thanks to everyone here for getting this break knocked out. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize it. Four and a two, six times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, we got Eugene down to PJ. Four and a two, six times for the teams. One, two, three, Four, five, and six and five. A trout, trout would be great to pull out of here, Rex. I would love that. Royals down to the Blue Jays. And whoever has the Angels would love that too. All right, Eugene with the Royals. Charles with the Astros. Tyler with the Red Sox. Nick with the Marlins. William with the Rangers. Joseph with the Mariners. Edwin with the Diamondbacks. PJ with the Cubs and the Phillies. Brett with the A's, Roger with the Pirates, Tyler with the O's and the Tigers, Nick with the Tribe, Gary with the Reds, Zane with the Shy Sox, Tyler with the Bronx Bombers, Tana with the Mets, Gordon with the Twins, Brewers and Rockies for PJ, Kyle with the Halos, PJ with the Braves, Tyler with the Cardinals, PJ with the Padres, Zane, you got my Dodgers, Gordon with the Giants, Tana with the Nats, Charles with the Blue uh, Rays, that is, and PJ has the Jays, Rays and Jays right next to each other. All right, and let's sort by column B. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades and then the break. Here are, are all the jerseys right here. So B, R, B. All right, welcome back, folks. So no deals were done. So that list remains the same. room here let's see what's inside I'm actually gonna turn off the top camera because I don't want to reveal the color of the jersey too early there you go so you can have some prime time enough time to try to guess who's in here play a little bit of America's favorite game who am I I give you the clues and for bragging rights you try to guess who's inside Cool. I don't see his autograph too often. All right. And I, I am still kicking, ladies and gentlemen. I am 88 years old. A, uh, a switch hitter, switch hitting shortstop was a base coach for a long time as well. Played for three teams my entire career. Seven-time All-Star. Three-time World Series champ. An NL MVP in the early 60s. Two gold gloves and a six-time NL stolen base leader in the early 60s. So think back to your early 60s NL base stealers. He, he won he, six. Oh, okay, okay. Because Lou, okay, this is the early 60s. Lou Brock, mid to late 60s. So pre Lou Brock, this guy, this guy was the one. Yeah, Gene, I had to, I actually had to look that up. I was like, really? This guy was beating out Lou Brock? But then I realized his stolen bases were 60 to 65. And then from 66 on, Lou Brock was winning. All the stolen base, uh, NL stolen base leader that time. Lifetime 281, batting average 2,134 hits, just 20 home runs, but 586 stolen bases in his career. Who 
Who am I? Played for the. I'll, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give you the team. Maybe you can still guess it. I'm gonna give you the team. Dodgers. Los Angeles Dodgers. So Zane Christian. Christian, you're gonna get this one. Um, Vin Scully used to tell a story about this player, where on a quiet day in downtown LA, you can hear the baseball, uh, the Dodger Stadium crowd chanting his name, urging him to steal a base when he was on first. Vin Scully tells that story much better than I do. He was there, and was a good, was a great base coach for a while too, for the Dodgers. I think was a was was a was a manager for the Mariners too. There you go, Chris. Yeah, and Craig's got it too. <laughs> no, not Benny the Jet. This is uh, Maury Wills. 88, still kicking. I feel like I still see him do spring training interviews. He shows up at camp. All right, there you go. There's his autograph right there. You got some inscriptions. You got his 1962 NL MVP, the David Adams authentication. So these are these are uh, official jerseys, officially licensed jerseys. So let's take a nice look at the Dodgers jersey. So you got the MLB logo right there. There's Wills. There's the nice red numbers that the Dodgers have. Majestic tag down there. You got retail tags over here as well. So, very nice for Zane and the Dodgers. I'm going to fold all these up nicely after I finish this break. So, let me just set these aside. tape on here so those post-it notes don't fall off. Give me a sec. All right, next one. All right, who do we have here? Huh? I'm very bad at identifying autographs, so I don't know. This is just the hit parade flyer. We usually have. Okay. Active baseball player this time. Um, man, I've played for a while. For the same team. Oh, I've been playing since 2008. For the same team, lefty outfielder from Holly Hill, South Carolina. Lifetime 258 batting average, 129 home runs, 1,391 hits, 540 runs batted in, 270 stolen bases. I stole a lot early in my career. An all-star, a World Series champ, gold glove, AL stolen base leader in 2011, AL triples leader in 2013, and a three-time fielding Bible award. That, that That's kept him... That's helped him have a job for a long time. He's a pretty good fielder as well. And a pretty intense dude. He's, he's had the, the bat to the top of the dugout roof thing going on. I think he may have sparked the my guys are savages in the box by my manager. Yeah, Williams got it. Oh, yeah, Williams that one. shouldn't have gave away this. Williams in South Carolina. Shouldn't have gave him that away. That's too easy for William. Tyler Brenner with the Bronx Bombers gets Brett Gardner been a solid player for a long time. There's the logo, there's his number, there's his autograph. There it is. There you go, he's got a nice auto, you got the JSA on it, the famous pinstripe, let's take a look. Nice, pretty sweet. This is not the Nike one, this is, oh, this is the Majestic jersey. There you go, Tyler. Buttoned up really nicely. There you go. We got some retail, a retail tag still attached to it. Yeah, guys, this guy's been around for a minute or two. All 
right, so we'll, we'll fold this up real nice, Tyler, after this break. Let's just get this here for now. Next one, I know, I know. I, I forgot that that you were. As soon as you answered it that quickly, I was just like, I was like, oh, right. Of course, we're, we're gonna know all these guys from South Carolina. All right, next one. All right, let's see. Okay. Dodgers. All right. Who am I? I played for two teams my entire career. Lefty batter, but I throw righty. I'm one of those guys. Um, lifetime 230 batting average, 122 home runs since 2015, 282 runs batted in, and a World Series champ. Started my career off as a catcher, but now an outfielder. Who am I? What's up, Logan? You can tag. Okay. Oh, it could have gone, could have gone. Nice, Tyler, yeah. Kyle Schwarber for PJ and the Cubs. In his Cubs jersey. He's with the Nationals now. Do they still do they still have that home run ball that he hit on top of the uh, scoreboard at Wrigley? Yeah, he he could hit some monsters. So there's a good look at the autograph again. Got all the all the tags right there, majestic. Some retail tags. Let's take a look at the front. Nice. His name doesn't fit the camera, the frame. Big Cubs logo right here is pretty nice. The majestic on the sleeve. All right, nice. I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna ask Tyler how you got that so quickly. You follow catchers. Yeah, catchers to outfielders. A lot of times you see catchers go to, um, yeah, it would have been easy for Rex, yeah. He's a Cubs guy, but he couldn't get to his phone fast enough. Yeah, usually catchers are converted to like third base. They usually have pretty decent arms, so maybe they end up get moving to third base if they're not good catchers. Sometimes first. Kenley Jansen came up as a catcher. But to the outfield, I feel like it doesn't happen too often. Maybe it's just, just me. All right. Next one. Here's just another hit parade card here. All right. Who am I? Played for one team my entire career, a shortstop, a righty. Lifetime 276 uh, since 2015. 110 home runs, 406 runs batted, batted in. An all-star, a uh, World Series champion, dubiously. AL Rookie of the Year, all-world baseball classic team. I feel like, I feel like he'd be pretty great if he were... Uh, I think he struggles with some injuries here and there. I feel like that kind of gets him. I think he's a free agent at the end of this season, too. I 
Yeah, these were loose. These were shipped to us, just loose, sealed and loose like this. Who am I? Shortstop from Puerto Rico. Well, Bellinger doesn't play shortstop, Logan. Chris Bryant doesn't, also does not play shortstop. Addison Russell does not uh, is a shortstop, but he won't be a free agent at the end of the year. Where, where, where was I? Where was I drafted? Uh, not Adalberto Mondesi. He was. Uh, oh, this this is going to give it away. He was the number one pick in the 2012 draft. That included Buxton, Mike Zunino, Kevin Gossman, uh, Max Fried, the Mark Appel who didn't sign, David Dahl, Addison Russell was actually in that class too. Lucas Giolito, Corey Seager, Michael Waka, Marcus Stroman. What a draft. What a draft. Supplemental first pick, Jose Barrios was in this draft. Mitch Hanniger, Joey Gallo, Lance McCullers Jr. It's a wild draft. There, Tyler Naquin's in this draft, too. A lot of guys. Yeah, Jens and Steve. Steve's got it, yeah. Carlos Correa. This is autograph there. This could be could be a Yankees target maybe in free agency. Let's check out his jersey here, or Corey Seager. Corey Seager might want to chase uh, the Yankees. Might want to chase after him too. There's the Astros right there. You can see all all the fun stuff here. Man, these authentic jerseys are real nice. The tags, majestic logos on the sleeves are always really cool. Nice, that's not. Keep the autograph up there. All right, so that goes to Charles, and I'll ref I will refold that nicely, Charles. It's Charles and the Strohs. All right, last one. There might be, Steve. I'll check. I'll check inside there. All right. Well, that would that would have made it too easy, Rex. Right? That's why I said a, a a dubious World Series win. All right. Last one we have. Is that? Oh, is that? Okay. All right, last one. All right. Who am I? I've been in the league since, uh, in the major since 2012. A two, am I a two-time world? Yeah, I guess I am a two-time two world series champion. Lifetime 268, 23 home runs, 214 runs. Batted in. I'm one of those guys that, that, that hits lefty. Is this lefty? Hits lefty, but throws righty. One of those guys. I made my debut for... This isn't the jersey that I made my debut in, but I made my debut for the Pirates in 2012. And then was traded to this team right here that offseason. While primarily used as an infielder, he's played every position except for catcher. Was an all-star once as well, and I hit for this. I hit for the cycle twice. Wow! I hit for the cycle twice, and the only cycle in po oh. But I, I hit for the cycle in the postseason. Game three of the 2018 ALDS. 
That's amazing. I didn't. I didn't realize that. Yankees fans will realize that. That's crazy. Um, <laughs> Tyler's hoping Big Poppy. Big Poppy had more than uh, he had a he had a, he had a little more than twenty three home runs. <laughs> he is kind of a Zobristy kind of player. Yeah, Finales has got it. Brock Holt. There you go. I feel like he's a Red Sox fan favorite, right? I didn't realize he had a, he had a, uh, a cycle in the postseason. So there's the there's the Boston up front. Got a nice Boston B right down here too. Part of that authentic collection right there. And there's another look at the auto. Very nice. Steve Holt! No, it's Brock Holt, the Brock Star. And there you have it. That goes to Tyler Brenner and the Boston Red Sox. And there you have it, boys and girls. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.